In this work, we present Chain Queen, a real-time differentiable physical simulator for sub-robotics. Chain Queen is based on the recently proposed moving least squares material point method, which uses both particles and grid nodes for discretization in simulating deformable objects. We make the simulation differentiable by further analyzing and differentiating spatial and temporal discretization. Please find the gradient derivations in our supplemental document. Our efficient GPU implementation delivers real-time performance and enables gradient-based optimization system for inference, control, and co-design. As a motivating example, we show how gradients can be used to infer physical quantities, which is useful for system identification. Specifically, suppose we have two colliding elastic balls, if we observe ball B will stop at destination C after collision, we can infer the relative density of two balls. Such inference can be considered as the optimization problem. Let the loss be the final distance between B and C, we can use gradients of the loss function with respect to the density of ball A to solve this problem. After several gradient descent iterations, we find the optimal density to be 2.26. More interestingly, we can use the gradients of the objective with respect to the controller parameters to directly optimize the controllers. Here, red actuators are contracting while the green ones are expanding. Firstly, we optimize a 2D biped runner. It has four actuators, and the goal is to move right as fast as possible. The initial controller does nothing, trapping the pool robot at the starting point. After 30 iterations, the controller makes it move slowly. The optimization fully converges in 58 gradient descent iterations. Here we visualize the whole optimization process, from the initial guess to the 58th iteration. In the next example, we control a 3D quadruped runner. It has four legs with four actuators each. Its controller is optimized in 211 gradient descent iterations. This 3D robotic arm has 3 links and 12 actuators in total. The goal of the controller is to touch the blue ball. The previous examples are controlled with closed-loop controllers. In this crawler example, we use an open-loop controller. The input of the open-loop controller includes sine and cosine signals, leading to a fixed-period motion cycle. The use of gradients has significantly sped up the optimization process. In contrast, the state-of-the-art reinforcement learning algorithms without using gradients converge one order of magnitude slower than our vanilla gradient descent. Our system can not only optimize the controller, but also the robot structure. This allows us to co-design the stiffness distribution and the open-loop controller. As a result, the jointly optimized robotic arm can reach the destination with higher accuracy. Finally, we compare our simulator with the real-world footage of a dropping pneumatic lag to validate its physical accuracy. Thank you.